I'm Amy Crambeck, an endourologist in the Department of Urology at Mayo Clinic. Um, I wanted to discuss with you the benefits of dual energy CT scanning. Uh, we are curr currently using dual energy CT scanning here at Mayo Clinic uh, to help assist in diagnosis of kidney stone disease. Um, the benefits of the dual energy CT scan um, are twofold. One, they allow us to uh, attempt to identify stone composition prior to treatment, and they also allow us to differentiate stone from stone fragments from stents um, that are currently indwelling. Uh, the dual energy CT scan has a 75 to 100 percent accuracy at detecting uric acid stones as opposed to other stone composition. So if you identify uric acid stone prior to treatment, you can initiate dissolution therapy as opposed to your redoroscopy, shock wave, or percutaneous stone removal, and you can save the patient a surgical intervention. Uh, they're currently working on ways to differentiate different types of calcium stone composition. So you can hopefully be able to, in the near future, uh, be able to differentiate calcium phosphate from calcium oxalate monohydrate, from struvite, um, from uric acid, from cysteine. And what that will allow us to do is to avoid unnecessary treatments. So if you identify a stone composition such as struvite, which is an infection stone, uh, you would want to avoid a treatment that leaves fragments behind, such as shockwave lithotripsy, and treat with a more definitive therapy, such as your reteroscopy or percutaneous nephrolithotomy, where you can ensure, can ensure that all stone fragments are removed. Um, another benefit of the dual energy CT scan is that it will clearly delineate between a stone fragment left in the ureter and a stent that's in place. Many patients who have ureteral stones first receive a stent um, for many different purposes. Maybe they present to the ER late at night, maybe they have signs of infection, and a temporizing stent is put in place until a more definitive management can be instituted. Sometimes stones will pass with a stent in place, and you're never certain um, with current CT scanning methods if you can accurately is still remaining in the ureter or if it's a stent because they both have the same radio density. But with a dual energy CT scan, it's very obvious. The stone shows up as blue, and the stent shows up as red. So you can scan the patient before you go forward with definitive therapy to identify if the stone is still in place, and hopefully avoid an unnecessary procedure. One misnomer about dual energy CT scanning is that since it utilizes two CT heads um, that rotate at the same time, that twice the energy is delivered to the patient and twice the radiation dose. Well, that's a misnomer. Um, they actually use very low-dose scanning methods with the dual-energy CT scan, such that the current dual-energy CT scanners have a lower radiation dose delivered to the patient than some of the older uh, single-head CT scanners. Unfortunately, dual-energy CT scan is not available to everyone at this current time. Only hospitals that have in invested in the technology currently have it available, and Mayo Clinic is one of the few places in the United States that has a dual energy currently CT Currently we're using dual energy CT scanning uh, at Mayo Clinic as part of an NIH grant. Uh, we're trying to study stone precursor lesions that may eventually be able to detect patients um, before they actually develop a kidney stone. So most patients with kidney stones have uh, calcifications or plaques on their papilla within their kidney. And we theorize that these plaques occur before the stone forms. We're using different methods of dual energy CT scanning to try and identify these plaques within the kidney in stone forming patients. So hopefully we can in the future be able to identify people, people that are at risk of forming kidney stones before they actually form them. I feel very fortunate to be able to work at the Mayo Clinic where we have such technology and can provide um, the best patient care possible.